Hello, everybody. My name is Patrick Mazen, and I'm the uh, global CEO for uh, Adeco. Adeco is the uh, largest uh, staffing company uh, in the world. I just participated in a panel on the future of human capital. And um, of course, we have a lot of challenges with the high unemployment, the high uh, youth unemployment uh, for the moment. And um, uh, a number of uh, solutions or potential solutions were discussed. Uh, one is mobility, of course, but the most important one is um, education, the investments we all have to do in education and especially in practical education, uh, getting companies together with the educational uh, systems, with the educational institutes and making sure that uh, education becomes more practical and becomes more aligned with what the labor markets are really uh, demanding for. And we have good uh, uh, examples of that, especially in uh, Germany, in Switzerland, in Finland. Um, one of the uh, participants uh, of the panel was Ursula, the labor minister of uh, Germany. And uh, uh, one of the successes indeed is the practical or the vocational training in, uh, in Germany. And that's the, the way we should go in a lot of parts uh, of the world. And of course, there is the mobility, uh, egalization of diplomas, making sure that people speak uh, different languages and uh, that we um, open up our borders uh, in uh, a very practical and controlled way on, on, on the other side, so that people uh, can fill in uh, the jobs uh, that are um, still available. Because if you look at the North America, for example, there are at least 13 million people unemployed, and the uh, official number is probably more close to 20 million. But on the other hand, there are 3 million job openings that don't get filled. So uh, there is a lot to be done also on matching uh, uh, demand and offer uh, there and making sure that the right skills are in place. Thank you very much. That's my feedback on the uh, future of human capital.